supported at the Machako School for the Deaf and one at the Machako Prison. Already, the county has outlined stringent measures to curb the spread of the disease, including banning of food hawking in the county for the next two weeks. Active rapid response teams at both county and sub-county levels have been dispatched to implement response activities, enhanced surveillance, laboratory testing and case management, and also sensitization on environmental sanitation. Food which is contaminated or water which is also contaminated. So um, what I want to say is that I want to give an update on the actions that we have taken as a government. One is that uh, active rapid re uh, re response teams are available at uh, both at the county level and at every sub-county level. What we are implementing is enhanced surveillance to ensure that uh, uh, we get laboratory testing case management, risk communication, and we are also engaging the community. And further, we want to assure the public that we are doing every possible, everything possible to ensure that we contain further spread of the disease. Uh, number three, uh, we have also identified uh, food and water quality surveillance, uh, which is ongoing, and we are taking water samples uh, which we have taken from various uh, counties where uh, the disease has been reported. Uh, we are urging the public to ensure that they adhere to stringent um, hygiene uh, practices at all levels. Now, President William Ruto on Thursday chaired his first meeting